This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speech and with another PowerPoint trick to help you make happy hour. Your one click solution to aligning type one objects, which I'll describe in a second, between your PowerPoint slides to make sure that your presentations look professional. You don't want things floating around between your slides. And I define type one objects as anything that's set on your slide master. So titles, footers, page numbers, content holders, etc. But there's a catch here with your content containers, which I'll cover at the end of this video. To see how to align type two objects with the hammer tool, check out our other video. And here in PowerPoint, I'll hit F5 for slideshow mode so that we can see the problem we're gonna fix. And just look at my title and subtitle there at the top as I flip between my slides. And notice that they move away from each other. This is what I mean by unaligned type one objects. These are objects that are set on the slide master that have been moved around probably by accident as someone was building out this deck. And this is a type of unalignment that we want to avoid in PowerPoint to make sure that our presentations look professional. And the way to quickly fix these types of unalignments is holding shift, first select all of the slides with your unalignments. You can select multiple slides at the same time, which is very convenient. From the home tab, simply select the reset button. Watch my title and subtitle as I click the reset button, click the reset button, and they snap back into position based on the slide master. If I now hit F5, Looking at my title and subtitle, you can see that there's no movement as I flip between my slides. So that's a quick fix for your type one unalignments, but you do need to be careful of phantom content containers. Bum, bum, bum. And let me just quickly show you what I mean. And here on slide number three, in slideshow mode, look at my graphics there in the middle of my slide as I hit the escape key. Hit escape, and you can see back here in the normal view, I now have two phantom content containers. These were not here before I reset my slide. So what does this mean? It means that whoever used this slide layout simply took these two content containers, which are part of the slide layout, hit delete, and then built the slide. Now this is not the end of the world as phantom content containers will never show up in slideshow mode, but as these wig most people out, including me, a best practice is simply to include a slide layout within your template without any content containers. So that's how to quickly solve type one object on alignments. To see how to quickly solve type two on alignments using the hammer tool, check out our other video. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training and I'll see you at happy hour.